Hand quilting is alive and well at the Back Room Quilter. Gail Ropp makes products just for hand quilters. I do, <laughs> although they do cross the line occasionally. Oh, really? So, yes. For machine quilting? Well, I have a tool that will help with some things for machine quilters, surface designers, and anybody who's putting on their binding. Um, they can do it on one of my products, and oh, it's cool. not dragging on the floor. Excellent. <laughs> you make a lot of tools, but what are you showing us today? I'm going to show you TJ's Quick Quilter, which is a tool developed specifically for hand quilters, so you never have sore fingers. My tool looks like a spoon, so I named it Spoon Quilting, or just to designate it as a technique. Ooh. You don't have to build a callus or heal a callus. You have no downtime, so you can quilt for hours in the day. Sounds like a no-brainer. It For me, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy quilting, and I just want to quilt as much as I can when I can. Well, show us how it works. Okay, I'm going to put this in the underhand to um, protect my fingers. When I put it in the underhand, all you see is the ridge that follows the quilting line. The needle goes in on the first stitch and I will catch the tip of the needle with the lip of the tool, the eye of the needle with my thimble, the sandwich is on the needle. Oh. If I can do this on the first stitch, I've gone through all three layers. I don't have to feel the needle. Okay. Here's my tool following the quilting line. Straight in on the first stitch, I'm co connecting the spoon and the thimble to the needle so I can manipulate my needle. Pushing the needle back determines my stitch length. I'm going to push up with my tool, drop the eye of the needle, take the stitch and stop pushing, drag the spoon forward and rock, make a ridge and take the stitch, drag the spoon forward and rock, make a ridge and take the stitch. I'm still doing traditional hand quilting, but never sore finger. Wonderful for anyone who has autoimmune problems, who has diabetes, can quilt safely. So not only does it avoid calluses and it's a safety helper, but also you can really quilt very accurately small stitches with that. I can, uh, with practice, because it is a new technique. You have to learn the technique first. The stitches will come. The thickness of the tool will help you gauge your stitch. So with practice, you can form uh, a small, even stitch, which is what quilters like to see. That's great. Where can we find it? You can find it at most quilt shops. Um, mm -hmm. Major distributors will be supplying them um, on my website, uh, tjsquickquilter.com. Um, and just let me know if you're interested. That'd be great. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you. I'd love to try it and do some hand quilting. Great. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> Thanks for watching QNN TV.